the issue of where spending's going up in higher education and what's driving increased spending, for the most part, colleges actually aren't spending more money now than they did 10 years ago. They're just, they have a different revenue structure, so their prices are higher. But where there are, if you look inside where, where the college budgets and where their spending is going up, it's overwhelmingly in employee benefits. Employee benefits are going up uh, five, six percent per year. Uh, and there's, I don't think there's any end in sight to that. Um, public institutions have, are, are spending more in that area relative to privates. Um, historically, publics have paid less in salary, more in benefits. And in, in a number of states, the institutions actually don't control the benefit package. It's controlled by state government for public institutions. So it's, it's a tricky thing to tackle, and it's politically very difficult to tackle um, in state government. But as long as we don't get those benefit structures under control, every new dollar coming into our institutions is going to go straight out the door to pay for benefits. So, I th if there's a single button to push, in my opinion, it's, it's we got to look at benefits. One of the places you see evidence of real cost cutting in most colleges and universities is actually in the faculty line, um, and and it's because institutions are swapping out tenure track faculty for part timers and adjuncts. I think they're doing that for two reasons. One is that it's cheaper; they don't have to pay them the benefits, and so they're saving on benefits. But I also think they're doing it for, for flexibility. Um, we've been able to handle the huge enrollment increases we've had in a relatively short period of time because we're using adjuncts. Um, it's, it's, it's institutions have a greater adaptability with adjuncts. I think that we're, we're, we're probably overusing adjuncts. I think it hurts academic quality. There's some research to that effect. Um, the, the types of challenging uh, high-impact assignments that students should be getting as part of their learning um, that are, are labor-intensive and faculty aren't assigning them because they don't have time. Um, so I think it hurts students. I think it hurts quality. Certainly is, is problematic in an environment where we expect to have collegiality and shared governance because for the most part part-timers don't participate in that. So I think it's a, I think it's a, a, a serious challenge in our institutions.